Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 14 NFL previews and analysis. And this video is for the game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Washington Redskins. This game will take place at FedEx Field, home of the Redskins, who come up with a record of 3-9. and nine. The Chiefs with a record of 9-3. and three. The Chiefs coming off, in two, uh, coming off of three straight losses here after starting off 9-0. and oh, Two games to the Broncos and one sandwich in the middle against San Diego. And they sit at 9-3 and three again in prime position for that first wild card spot in the AFC. If they win this game, they do clinch on that coveted playoff spot. And I know this team had aspirations uh, of at least winning at the AFC West here. Obviously, that can't happen now. But I think for a franchise that won two games last year, this playoff spot and securing it means a lot. And I think it means a lot to Andy Reid. I think it means a lot to this team, and rightfully so. They deserve a lot of credit for, you know, having this big of a turnaround in his first year. So I think the motivation is going to be there for them to come out and play very hard in this game. Um, you know, for the Chiefs, I, it, there's been a lot of focus on how their defense has taken a step back. Let's not forget that defense played against Peyton Manning twice and Phillip Rivers in the middle. So, you know, a lot of defenses have tough games against those guys. They'll step down in class here when they play Robert Griffin the third. Uh, and this Redskins team as a whole, not to put it all on RG3, the defensive and offensive perspective uh, for the Redskins, not good this year. Um, can the Redskins slow down the Chiefs? I know that sounds crazy, but what's been lost in this Chiefs losing streak is the fact that you know their offense has put up better numbers when they've needed to. Sure, it's been overshadowed by the fact that the defense has struggled, but Alex Smith has showed he can put more points on the board if he needs to. And I think against lesser teams, that turn the ball over, okay, the Chiefs have a serious advantage still, just like they did when they built that 9-0 and record. Those nine wins were largely built against teams that didn't have good quarterbacks that made mistakes, and the Chiefs feasted off them. I think that's going to, we're going to revert back to that now, that formula for success for the Chiefs, knowing that Alex Smith, if he needs to, can air it out and get things done as well. For the Redskins to win this game, they have to not turn the ball over, and Alfred Morris has to have a big day running the ball. And I think that's going to be the determining factor in this game. Do we get the old Chiefs defense? Do we get the new Chiefs defense that's let up a lot of yards? We'll see. Um, D'Angelo Hall against Dwayne Bowe is going to be a good matchup. Hall's quietly had a pretty good season here, even though the rest of the defense around him has been absolutely awful. Okay, does Alex Smith then go to the Donnie Avery or Dexter McCluster even to get some things going? Jamal Charles's matchup against Washington, I think, is extremely favorable. Um, you know, again, Washington has to turn over Kansas City, which not many teams have been able to do, and they have to get some more consistent play out of RG3 here. I, I know a lot's been made of his relationship with the Shanahans. Um, he got off to an extremely good start in the game against the Giants, and it sort of came to a grinding halt. So he ran more against the Giants. He got hit 16 times, though, in that game. You know, they got to limit that. they got to figure out some way. Uh, for him to be effective without having to take that many hits. But I don't think it's going to happen this year at this point, guys. I think it's something that's going to have to be worked on in the offseason. I don't think it gets any better in this game. Kansas City needing a win to clinch a playoff spot. I love them in this spot. I like Kansas City minus three on the road in Washington. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week. Always talking the news of the day, the NFL draft and all things NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.